garden excitement though so exciting yeah it is i was seeing the weeds pop up in here and i was getting excited even i did a thing we got 13 golden comets someone wanted some chickens so we gave them 12 chickens and then we went and got these little guys or girls they're all pullets so we're gonna have uh, quite a bit of chickens again which is good I don't think we've had this many for what three years probably yeah Matt picked the lucky number 13 because we lost that one brown Issa chick so now there's an even 36 here Yep. Oh no, I plus four. Well, no, there's, 40. There's 39. Why are there 39? Because we got. So, oh, we lost the one. Yeah, 40. I forgot about <coughs> the four we had no. that we had. We shouldn't do math on TV. <laughs> so, you got 12 of these. Uh huh. And then we had 11 of the other ones. And then I just got 13. So, it's 36 plus the four we had. 40. Yeah, 40. I can do math on television. <laughs> television, I love it. There's, you can see which ones are roosters. Like that's a rooster, so it's one. Yeah, well, two, I forget. We'll three, lose some of those. Four, four of the white ones are going to be roosters for sure. Okay. Hey, that'd be awesome if only four out of the twelve were. Yeah. Look at these little things. I know they're so cute. They're so little yet. The so other we ones never. Are all getting bigger. We've never had the golden comets, but. We've had all these other ones before, all these other breeds. And they're all good breeds. I think my favorite is the Bard Rock, just because of the way they look. It's the traditional, that and the Rhode Island Red. Not the Lavender Orpingtons? I thought those were your favorite. No, they don't lay enough. <laughs> they're so pretty, though. What is that the one that's really calm? I always forget. What's the yeah, green one that's really calm? Orpingtons are really calm. The big one. What's the, the big Orpington, one? The lavender that's Orpington. Okay. Yeah. What's the other gray one? I forget. Those are the sapphire. Those oh, lay a lot okay. of eggs. Those are awesome too. Yeah. Oh, but they are down. just skittish. No matter yeah. how many times you come out and hold them. Yeah, and the kids do. <laughs> Let's see. Well, okay, show you this is one we got last week see it's got wings developed the feathers and this one we just got little tiny wings see it again see <laughs> oh. all right we gotta do chores <laughs> Walk on my feet. <laughs> Quit fighting, girls. There's plenty to go down. <laughs> it's an odd way to drink water. Just getting your stretches in for the morning. What are you doing in there? <laughs> so I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's rainy. It has just been cold. We've had freezing temps at night, at night so we've had this makeshift wood barrier for the meat birds. In fact, Matt added some more on that side last night because the wind was whipping through this way as opposed to the other way like it was before but they seem to be doing really well like i haven't seen any issues with them yeah i think it helps too pointing the heat lamps farther back so they uh, they all get the heat rather than just straight down it's too close to the ground yeah i think it's a huge help and i i'm hoping it doesn't rain a ton for their sake I feel like the rain is going to be the bigger problem than the cold. 
that for the pigs too. Yeah. I don't want pigs getting sick. Mm -hmm. Close this up. Hold on, let me hold this for you. It's just heavy with that wet wood on there. Alright, we're gonna put this away and I have a surprise for you and Sarah. I thought for sure he was turning on the electric fence before I got out. Yes, the garlic is coming up, but that's not what I'm going to show you. <gasps> no! No way! We never picked them. Shut the front door. Here. What, oh. now I have to record? Yes, because I'm really surprised. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you guys know what this is? I do. I do. This is our celery we planted last year. And rather than picking the whole plant, I cut them. And they're all coming back. Well, not all, but whoa, a lot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. eight, nine, ten, eleven. Is this more over here? No, that looks like a raspberry. They're coming out in our garden. Yeah, I see the raspberry coming up in the garden. I meant down here. I'm pretty sure that's one too. Is it? Yep. <laughs> it is. 12. There's one over there. 13. Oh, you are kidding me. And y you know what? Our, ra our celery seedlings are doing really well too. And then look at see, all this. Look at all the garlic that came up. That can't be garlic. Yeah. We planted garlic there. You don't remember? No. Yeah, we had more garlic, so we planted it there. Why don't I remember that? <laughs> I, oh, I guess I see the steaks now. Hey, look, we even kind of labeled it. Medici. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. <coughs> I think I she has to go back it. and watch our videos. I know, this is how I recall. I'm thinking, I've been making these plans for what we're going to do with for potatoes this year, completely forgetting that we've used this spot. So now it's got me We have all encouraged. this, though. Oh, it's got me more encouraged. I want to start something over there for potato. <laughs> oh, the issue is watering, though, for over there if we have a dry year. Yeah, I know. Oh, my goodness. I, like, I'm so surprised. So. What? Last year, we cut our celery, but I put it in the fridge, and it was busy harvest season, busy season, and we didn't get to it before. It just, it was junk. So we actually didn't have any celery to wash up and put in the freezer. So I mean, this year might be a whole different story. I think I'm gonna do that from now on though. Just cut it at its base. If it's gonna come back the next year. Well, we'll see. It might not taste good or oh. it might go a seed. Well, I doubt it's gonna be, it's not hot yet. So I mean, this celery could be really darn good. Lots of onions popping back up too. Not a lot, but yeah, a couple. A handful. All right, we got to get out of the rain. Yeah. This our expensive oh, camera is getting wet. This garden, garden excitement though, so exciting. Yeah, it is. I was seeing the weeds pop up in here, and I was getting excited even. <laughs> You'll see, like on the ground, I have, I put all that chicken manure compost on there straight from their pen, so it's sat all winter long. So hopefully that'll, the rain, all this rain will help it go into the ground for more fertilizer and I'm gonna do that every fall if this works out so I should once you move it around it'll be good should we check on that greenhouse nope greenhouse is fine we're gonna leave it closed so the moisture stays in okay and if the sun comes out then we gotta go and water everything and open it up hope you're enjoying this rainy beautiful weather <laughs> as we are <laughs> glad you guys see us again bye